Our world is filled with incredible buildings that amaze us with their design genius. Then, there are those projects where architects really went all out. In today's video, we are listing down the biggest, most expensive, and truly over-the-top projects that were never completed. Number 6. The Cursed Temple This story starts with King Bodaupaya, the sixth ruler of Myanmar's Konbaung dynasty, reigning from 1752 to 1885. Much like other visionary architects, he never witnessed the completion of his ambitious project. He received a sacred Buddhist tooth relic from a Chinese delegation, inspiring him to construct what he envisioned as the country's, and possibly the world's, largest pagoda, the Mingun Patodaugi. The construction of this monumental temple started in 1790, located six miles northwest of Mandalay. He even handed over the kingdom to his son and moved closer to the site to supervise the work personally. Seven years later, the temple reached a towering height of 164 feet, but it took a toll on the public, and there were rumors about the temple being cursed. The temple's completion was believed to lead to the kingdom's end. These superstitions ultimately halted further construction, leaving the pagoda at a mere third of its intended size. Despite its unfinished state, the Patodagai remains a remarkable tower. The truth behind the curse remains an enduring mystery, likely unsolved. Number 5. Yujiapu Financial District. Money is the driving force that runs our world, and this isn't true for all. This was precisely the case with the Yujiapu Financial District. Envisioned as Tianjin's financial and global trade hub, creating a new global financial was expensive. Yujiapu required $30 billion in investments, with expectations set for its grand opening in June 2014. However, things didn't go as planned. Constructed on land barely above sea level, the area is highly at risk of flooding. Moreover, the organization working on its construction was drowning in financial mismanagement, exhausting an astonishing $50 billion budget and plunging into severe debt. Yet, not all hope is lost. Despite the slow progress since 2016, by 2019, some of Tianjin's government agencies had begun establishing their bases there, hinting at a potential turnaround. Could Yujiapu eventually meet its ambitions? Well, only time will tell. Number 4. Hunter's Point, Swindler's Shipyard. This shipyard in San Francisco tells a troubling story. This city, known for its high-end lifestyle, including fancy coffees and fitness studios, has a darker side at Hunter's Point. Planned as a trendy area with an $8 billion investment for shops, restaurants, and affordable housing for tech workers, things went sideways. Affordable means $1 million for a two-bedroom condo, which is cheaper than the usual $1.4 million in the city. But there's a catch. The site was used for nuclear testing from 1945 to 1969 and was contaminated with dangerous radioactive material. The low housing prices were a bargain for the health risks. Cleanup was supposed to make the area safe, with Tetratech responsible for removing the toxic waste. However, they were accused of faking safety data, leading to a massive $27 billion lawsuit as people reported illnesses and even deaths from the contamination. They will resume the work once it's proven safe. Number 3. South China Mall. Started in 2002 in Dongguan, this huge 7.1 million square foot mall was supposed to have a roller coaster, an Egyptian sphinx, and a long gondola ride. Unfortunately, despite its grand opening in 2005 with space for 2,000 plus stores and investing a whopping 2.5 billion yuan, about $400 million, the developers faced challenges in attracting vendors and visitors. The mall's location on repurposed farmland added to the challenges with a lack of infrastructure to handle the mall traffic. No trains and buses were connected to the route, and it took about two and a half hours to cover just six miles to reach the mall. A little bit of hope was seen. By 2012, 47 stores were opened, and a few more by 2015, but large areas were still empty. As of 2018, despite some progress, four floors remained vacant, the gondola water was dirty, and the only thing staff was doing was keeping people from entering the empty area. Number 2. Thames Garden Bridge. The ill-fated Thames Garden Bridge. This bridge is literally a bridge to nowhere, as it won't take you anywhere. In 2014, approval was given for a project that promised a lush pedestrian path between Waterloo and Blackfriars Bridge over the River Thames. Despite the initial excitement followed by 2016 when the London mayor called for a financial review of the project, the Garden Bridge Trust, 
the group behind this venture, was found to be $71 million short in their finances. Without laying a foundation, the project had already squandered $27 million on construction contracts, $12 million on design fees, nearly $3 million on legalities, and another $2 million in salaries for their stellar management. The extravagance peaked with a $530,000 fundraising gala, a lavish affair primarily funded by $56 million from British taxpayers, leading to the project's cancellation without any progress. Number 1. Centro Financiero con Finanzas In Venezuela's capital, Caracas, the Centro Financiero con Finanzas was a project that aimed high but fell dramatically short. Initiated in 1990, this ambitious financial tower was set to serve Venezuela's stockbrokers and bankers. Standing at 561 feet, it's the third tallest building in the China. However, the project stopped in 1994, when the Venezuelan government's interference in the banking sector led to an economic downturn, and the project stopped due to lack of funding. The 2000s brought a severe housing crisis to Caracas, leading to the acquisition of the tower by settlers in 2007, who transformed it into a makeshift community. By 2011, it housed over 700 families, becoming the world's tallest slum. Then, finally, in 2014, the government relocated the inhabitants, leaving the building empty again. Rumors of interest from Chinese banks in reviving the tower for its original financial purpose surfaced, but no progress was seen. Which of these incomplete projects catches your interest the most for completion? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get more from our channel.